Welcome back, y'all. It's your girl. And I'm back again with another vlog. So here you guys are going to get to see how things went down when we got our names. Okay, so we actually had a naming ceremony while we were out there in Ghana. So this naming ceremony took place in Jamestown, which is a small, smaller city in Accra. Um, but typically you only get a name when you are a newborn baby. <laughs> so all of our friends was like, why are y'all getting names, um, as an adult? But it was still very good because it's still very spiritual and a way to just connect to our roots and connect to our tribe. Here you will see, um, the mother of the group, the matriarch, she was just kind of dressing me up, getting me all presentable in my finest Akan fabrics. Um, so yeah, they actually picked out these fabrics specifically for us. I don't know why I got this color, but I actually liked it with the swan. Um, and so yeah, they dressed us up really nicely. So here you will see us getting painted on with the chalk, which was really cool. Um, definitely looked very tribal-like, <laughs> but I was joining a tribe. So yeah, it definitely was fitting for the occasion. Um, but yeah, it was hot. Can't y'all tell we look hot. <laughs> So typically in the tradition, alcohol and water are put on the tongue of the babies to let them, let him or her know the difference between the truth and a lie, which I thought was so really, really, really cool. But um, because we were adults, <laughs> um, he kind of rephrased it differently. And I love how he put it because he said that without water, you know, we would be nothing. Water is life, water is flowing. We need water to sustain. And so I really love that analogy because yeah, water is the ultimate divine feminine energy. Um, and that is how you attract abundance. That's how abundance flows to you. So I love that analogy that he used. So typically when you get named, they'll usually give you your name based off of the day of the week. So my name is Ajwa since I was born on a Monday. But in this specific tribe in Jamestown, the Yakan tribe, they actually give you a name that is related to the chief's family. So oh, my surname ended up being Na Kwale Ajeso. Na Kwale is the anointed one, right? Are you shocked? I'm not. <laughs> yes, I am the anointed one. So my sister got a name. Hers was Ajwale, which means the protector. My mother's name was Oya, which means blessing. And my niece's was Afroshikia, which means the wealthy one. So needless to say, all of these names really corresponded well with our personalities. Like, I'm not sure how they were able to do it because although we knew the people of the tribe, they didn't know us personally, personally. So it was just very shocking when we got these names and they were so spot on with our personalities. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, guys, I don't believe in coincidences. I know that this was destined to be, we met our tribe and our tribe knew us. They knew our personalities. They knew what God sent us here to do. And I'm just glad that I was able to make this trip because, and even go through this whole naming ceremony because it really allowed me to tap into my ancestry and my spiritual foundation on a whole nother level. Like, I don't feel like I don't know who I am anymore. Like definitely, although I'm African American, being able to be a part of this naming ceremony, it really allowed me to feel connected to my African roots. And I just really encourage you guys to really check out a naming ceremony. It's really dope. And I was just excited that I got a chance to be around such big hearted people who were 
willing to like let us into their culture and really educate us and just take us under their wings. And they were so nice. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. That's pretty much it. Um, if you like this vlog, like, comment, and subscribe. I know I was kind of all over the place, but I'm getting better. Peace. <laughs>